Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a tap to change function with a frame filter. So when you tap on the screen, the frames are changing. So yeah, let's start. Hey again, so let's create a tap to change function with frames here in Effect House. I have created some frames for you, which you can download with the link in the description to follow along this tutorial, but you can also use your own fra frames, which you have designed. So yeah, the first thing we will do is to import our frames so we can use them here in Effect House. For this, just go to your finder, then select all the frames you want to insert to your project and then just drag and drop it to your assets panel here in Effect House. After the import is done, please make sure that you set the compression to all of your textures to none. So select the texture on the left hand side, then go to the right hand side and set the compression type to none. So yeah, make sure that you have done this. Um, with all your filters that the quality is the best possible. So I have imported five frames, but of course you can do three or even more frames. Now we will start the visual scripting of this filter. So we go to our visual scripting panel and here we will insert our first node. This node will be a make array node. So when we have created this make array node, we can see that the make array is set to number, but we will set this to texture. Then we will click on the little plus on this array uh, on this node to expand it to four items. So zero is the first one and the item four will be the fifth one. Then select for item zero to four your and textures in the order you want them to. So I will take frame one for item zero, then frame two for item one and so on. When we have done this, we can set up the tap function for our filter because of course we want when we tap on the screen that the frame changes. So for this, we will add another node. So go again to the plus and here search for screen tap then you will get this node. And um, now we want something that, that counts the screen tabs on the screen. So we need of course another node and this node will be a counter node. Now we can, can connect the next output of the screen tab with the increase input of our counter node. Then we will set up the counter. So here it is set to step one, this is nice from zero to um, five. When we have done this, we can move on with the array because we also need a get array patch to get the texture of the current um, yeah, index of our array. So again, we go to the plus and here we search for get item from array. Insert this node and now we can connect the texture array output of the array node with the number array input of our get item from array node. And when we have done this, you will see that the um, data type will automatically be set to texture. Now we just also need to um, connect the current number output of our counter node with the index input of our get item from array node. So now we have almost set up um, all our visual scripting, but of course we also need to set up our scene that the frame is also displayed here on our viewport. For this we go to our scene panel on the left hand side and click on add object. The object we are looking for is under 2D and here it is the screen image. So now we can see a screen image. Um, yes, and now we will also need to set up the texture here. For this, select the screen image, go to the right hand side and there you can find image and then um, down there, there will be texture and, and the left hand side on texture, there is a little circle. When you click on it, you can um, choose between get texture and set texture. Here, of course, we select set texture and Effect House will create this blue node here in the visual scripting panel. Now we can connect the item texture output from the 
get item node with the value input of our set texture node. But now nothing has changed because we also have to trigger this node. We will trigger this at the start. So it will set the first texture and we will also trigger this when we tap on the screen. So for this, we also already have here a start node, which we can use just yeah, drag it over to the set texture um, node. And now we can connect the next output of the start node with the enter input of the set texture. When we have done this, we can already see that the first texture of our array will show up here on our screen. And now when we tap on the screen, nothing's hap nothing happens, but the counter is already counting. So we also need to trigger the set texture node when we tap on the screen. For this, we have an output here at the counter node. Um, just connect this with the enter input of the set texture. And now when we tap on the screen, we can change our frames. But you can see when um, the counter hits the highest number, so this is five, nothing happens because the counter does not um, reset it on, on its own. So we also have to program a, a logic to s a reset our counter because we see there is also a reset function at the inputs of our counter. So let's program this reset function. For this, we need another node. So again, click on the plus and here we search for equal. So it doesn't matter if you set A to five or B to five. So I will just set A to five and then connect the number output of the counter to B. Now we also need an if node and now we can connect the boolean output of the equal node with the condition input of our if node. Now we also have to change the connections here of our counter node so the next go doesn't go to to the set texture node, it, go, it goes first to the if node. And here we have true and false. When the equal is true, it will reset the counter. And when it is false, it will just set the texture. And now when we tap on the screen, we can see that it resets when we hit yeah, five. So we can switch through all our frames and when we are at the last frame, it um, goes to the first frame again. So let's ch just check if this is working. So one, two, three, four and five. And now when we tap again, it is on the first frame. You can just change the order by yeah, changing the make array here for example when i want a out of first frame i can just go here and set item 0 to frame 4 and frame item 3 will be frame 1 so it starts with this frame i hope this tutorial was helpful for you if you have any questions yeah let me know in the comments below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!